सर नमस्कार सर आधार टारगेटेड डिलीवरी ऑफ फाइनेंशियल एंड अदर सब्सिडीज बेनिफिट्स एंड सर्विसेज बिल 2016 being discussed today in the house shows how much interest we members are taking in such a serious discussion the emptiness of both the treasury and the non government side shows that apart from biju janata dal it shows that people do not understand the import of this bill this is a classic example of function creep which means when a technology designed for use in a particular fashion for a particular purpose is misused or used for something else for which it was not intended that is function creep i'm surprised how in this country people are bending over backwards even educated conscious aware people bending over backwards to get an aadhar card and i do not know what kind of a hurdle this will bring up in the future for me but i am proud to say that i and my family till today have refrained from getting registered in the aadhar process and i not only oppose this bill in entirety but i not only give it as an opposition in a speech i am actually implementing it in my life it is being showcased as a tool exclusively meant for disbursement of subsidies and it we do not realize that it can also be used for mass surveillance or to take it a step further to a very much more dangerous proposition for genetic or ethnic cleaning cleansing we have seen how the un no sir if you have read recent findings no sir sir there is there is this misconception that we are ethnically one but recent studies in uh, in uh, the calcutta university and in other places have proved that indians come from four definite, uh, definite ethnic background there is the burman tibeto background there are the dravidians there are different ethnic groups if we do not wish to recognize we think everybody is an aryan i am not an aryan i am a dravidian i am an adivasi so we are not the same as uh, uh, as other ethnic groups there are ethnic groups in india let us admit it if we do not we are closing our eyes to certain facts of life which has been proven by science by research into dna in this country in this century in the recent past sir we have seen how biometric data has been misutilized i am i am pronouncing it as data sir uh has been misutilized even by an organization as important as the un which used the data that was collected in the refugee camps of uh, iraq of syria uh, and other countries middle eastern countries when these refugees are moving into europe the un is supplying this data to the governments of the concerned countries to keep a tab on the uh, on the refugees who are going there this is a i do not know why india needs this system we have a multiple layering of cards and when the upa had moved it i had spoken at that time also and i had opposed it because i do not see much of a difference between the upa or the nda just the individuals have changed but the mindset sits at that corner where the bureaucracy sits and they are the one who are constant and i'm happy that the prime minister recognized this fact and also spoke about it in so many words in his speech in that uh, presidential thanksgiving thing he recognizes the fact because uh, he has probably encountered this being an administrator himself and being an implementer but he 
has to the government has to not the prime minister individually the government has to realize that if they want to break free of the yoke of the past then they have to take the call themselves these have to be political decisions these cannot be bureaucratic decisions we have for example the election id card we have the bpl card the apl card the uh, there is a whole set of cards which we have given to uh, our uh, countrymen we have even given income tax payers and non income tax payers the pan card so my point here is this is an ongoing process all these cards are ongoing process every day new children are born and after a certain period of time they will require a card so aadhar is not going to stop say after a certain period of time like in the bill they have said that the that the uh, mistakes in the card shall be rectified within a period of 3 years ending 2019 that means they themselves are admitting that in after 2019 they will not be there in the treasury benches because if that would not have been your belief the government's belief not you sir i mean the government's belief they should have made it over a period of time that for the next decade this will be an open ended uh, legislation where whatever mistakes take place can be rectified and we are seeing every day this this august house is getting amendments what are the amendments for because somebody in the past had legislated something written something it is being corrected so here there is no justification when you already have a plethora of cards to dump another very expensive card on the citizens of this country just because you want to have biometric and more dangerous sir they are collecting biological data also now my my uh, my problem sir is the problem that i face why is the bpl card a failure all of us are aware of it at the panchayat level the sarpanch finds out that you have not voted for me when i contested for uh, sarpanch i will ensure neither you nor your family nor your relatives nobody will get the bpl card if you don't get the bpl card you will not get the uh, mg nre ga benefits so i will stop you this is the problem that we should have addressed if we are actually concerned about the poor of this country then we should have ensured that the bpl card reaches the real beneficiary in a very honest and effective manner which we have not tried to do what we are trying to do we have a cake we are putting one layer of icing another layer of icing so this is an endless process and it is taxing on the taxpayer you have some 2.38 percent of the people of this country paying taxes how much more do you want to tax them why do you tax them for these kind of unproductive non productive useless work so this this thing that aadhar is meant to deliver only benefits i do not agree because there are enough superstructures at the ground level all that you had to do is streamline those superstructures so that you get a better result and the real poor are are identified by you and identified fireable by somebody who wants to reach benefits to them as far as this being a money bill sir you are aware the whole house is aware this is not a money bill full stop every every expenditure majority of expenditure is taken from the consolidated fund of india what are we being taught is this i mean are we not aware of what happens in this house we've been here for so long now what are we being taught about consolidated uh, fund of india everything you are bringing here is from the money is from the consolidated fund and all that you are trying to do is subvert the process not to take this to rajya sabha and suddenly this urgency because some babu has told you that this is very urgent let's get it done so this is still the same mat- attitude that is continuing and we are kowtowing to that very idea sir i will no i will need some time sir i will request you uh, with uh, folded hands sir first of all this bill should not have been brought in 
as as uh, budget discussions were on said you have been in this house for long enough you have enough experience you know sir budget discussions are never uh, interrupted in the manner that aadhar bill has done it this is a very wrong thing the government has done so you have to give me time sir because i have heard everybody else patiently i am not making a political issue we have decided in bsc sir there are Two many hours. contradictions i'll give you a couple of seven the, minutes only sir We have decided in BSC two hours. Accordingly, you have. Sir, you have hours. not taken. You have spoke more than ten hours. That's why. You you take your time. Sir, sir, I, I'll just minutes. finish this, sir. Three four minutes. Sir, okay. I'll I'll quickly finish it, sir. I'll run through, sir. Further, there are many contradictions in the bill. For example, take clause four bracket three, which says Aadhar can be used as identity for any purpose. That contradicts clause seven. and narrative around the bill that aadhar will be used only for delivering benefits and subsidies so you are contradicting yourself sir as our pr prime minister said that people come to power people will go out of power he also is magnanimous enough to recognize that in a democracy the beauty of democracy is nobody is permanent these people thought they will be there in power forever you saw what the people did to them now they are thinking they will be in power forever you will see you will be right there you will see what will happen to them so this we are very used to it so i would like to ask the government or the finance minister that can he can he under any circumstances assure us that this law this aadhar card will and the data that will be collected uh, collected under it biometric biological your eyes iris scan fingerprint everything put together that it will not be misutilized as has been done by uh, the nsa in the us us is a burning example your snowden is a great example what he exposed what happened in the us they collect all kinds of data and what happens it goes to construct or deconstruct a citizen when you base everything on that your bank your uh, income your tax everything including your health uh, history everything on one single thing then what happens is our system is much more weak much weaker than the U, than the us system when the us system can break open and anybody can uh, deconstruct it uh, can break into it where would we be as indians sir i am uh, coming uh, to okay. the end sir sir we have i'll give another example we have lot of competent uh, systems competent laws but who are the people handling it extremely incompetent people so there was an example there is this instance i would like to state when uh, uh, there was one university iipm there is one university when it had some uh, tough, tough stance with the government the government said that you stop all their links all their urls and the duty was given to a babu what did he do he must have searched for iipm whatever came up first were the ugc uh, urls which had iipm mentioned in them he blocked all of them so ugc websites went off the net for two days so these are the people now you expect them to guard all your data how will they guard it and what are you saying that there will be some little punishment they will pay a tax of uh, 10 lakhs another important thing is you are saying unless authorized by the authority nobody will have access to plant a virus take out data sir why should the authority authorize anybody to put in a virus it is there in the bill this is not something i am saying out of my own free will people may think this bill has been very well drafted yes it has been very well drafted the effort has been to make it watertight but in the watertight process also in a state which is ruled by one of their uh, uh, allies 25000 fake id card of uh, aadhar id cards have been unearthed because some of these contractors took money and started issuing aadhar cards so what is happening is when you are saying that you will sublet or you will uh, give out subcontract it to other people private parties what will happen is if they get influenced they will be able to manipulate all the data that the government will be accessing or will be having so before i wind up i would refer to page 2 clause 2g 
where it says biometric information means photograph, fingerprint, iris scan or other such biological attributes of an individual as may be specified by regulation. So this definition is vague. Since you have mentioned this is subject to regulations in the future, biometric information might even include DNA information. By leaving the definition so open-ended, you have kept a provision to include other ethically unacceptable biometric information. As seen in other countries, even medical information and organ scans might be included because you have added the word biological in the definition, which is a very dangerous word, sir. Sir, page 2, clause 2, bracket X. Definition of subsidies is too broad. Will this bill cover only subsidies for the poor or even other types of subsidies which even the middle class use? What will happen, suppose, sir, you want to buy land tomorrow for registering your deed? They will say, give your Aadhaar card. Now they are asking for PAN card. They will ask for Aadhaar card. So, you will have the, uh, the government or it, the government is not the danger. The danger are these subcontractors, these people who will have access to these, all these data. They will have, sir, uh, two other points I will mention and I will really wind up. <laughs> sir, nowadays I see a lot of people have their hands shaking in the house. Maybe that is what is happening to me and that is why my hands are also shaking. <laughs> Clause, no sir, my hands please, are steady sir. Please Clause 33, if information is to be revealed for national security, consent of the individual shall be sought. Page 12, Clause 33, bracket 2 says, just like our sedition laws, sir this is something important, national security can be interpreted in a number of ways in any given situation. Tomorrow somebody can say, Shiva Sena or Biju Janata Dal, is an anti-national party or the ADMK is trying for uh, uh, sedition and they want to break away Tamil Nadu and join uh, Sri Lanka. Sir, if that happens, this clause can be misused by the government in power to stifle dissent. You will probably ask for the biometric information of the next Johnny that raises a voice against Please. the government. Last, sir, last, last, sir. The government has put in a lockdown period, which I mentioned about, that it will be uh, uh, clause 58 on page 17, puts in a lockdown provision. Up to three years, the BJP it government can make changes one. in the bill through notification by the government, please, please. by the Gazette. Bureaucrats will have a free reign over this bill after it is passed by bill, by, by parliament. What is the rationale behind keeping three years is what I wonder. What will happen after 2019? So, sir, at the end, thank you very much for allowing me to speak on this uh, bill. I wish to categorically state that okay. I oppose the Aadhaar bill. Sir, I am winding up. I oppose the Aadhaar bill. I do not suppo support the collection of such sensitive data from individuals of this nation. We are a multicultural, multilingual state. We have a plethora of cards that we can rely okay, on. Okay, we can make you. the election thank card you. more successful. Thank and very much, sir. should be stopped. It should be given to the... Sir, your party will speak after this, sir. Sir, sir one minute. Already he is standing. <laughs> Please, yes, please, please, please. Sir, all I am asking for is that this should be sent in for further scrutiny. I oppose this bill and I want it to be noted that Biju Janata Dal and Tathagat Satpati, we oppose this bill. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chairman, sir.